So in this video, I'm gonna tell you the importance of why you should always make it a point to get to know your fans in person. All right, so stay tuned. Beauty is irrelevant. What's up everybody, it's your boy Relevant. I'm out here in Hollywood. It's been a busy day. I've been at this party, or this industry party all day, pool party. I wanna splice some of the footage in. I was so caught up in today, I didn't even get a chance to film. It's so hard to film sometimes and I'm so caught up in the moment. Some of this stuff that I go to and I'm gonna start showing you guys is so behind the scenes in industries that you know I don't always wanna be putting it on display because it's ex exclusive. And now I'm running late to see one of my clients, Michael, perform at the Viper Room. So I'm gonna record the full video of this when I get out of the show. We here in Hollywood, here it is. We're going to the Viper Room. We're gonna see Michael perform. It's my first time seeing him perform live. So after that, we'll, uh, we'll get started with the video, all right? So stay tuned. <laughs> gonna get straight into it right now I'm in Hollywood I just left the Viper room I just saw uh, one of my artists perform Mike Lorenzo the first time seeing him perform live he did a good job uh, performing is definitely requires a lot of courage um, you got to be able to adapt be able to understand what's going on read the crowd read the room uh, especially if you're working with live instrument players or anything like that but um, let's get into this video as I go for a walk go ahead and walk down these Hollywood streets. It's been a minute since I've been in Hollywood. So I'm gonna make this video for you guys and then I'm gonna get on out of here. I think I'm gonna walk down to the Pendry. We just left the Viper Room. The Viper Room is a very classic venue where people go to perform at. There's been a lot of big performances there. It's kind of like one of those places where people uh, where break themselves as an artist. So it's like if, for your career as an artist, if you've uh, performed in Viper Room, you've done something important. You've done something kind of cool. It's one of those places, kind of like the Key Club, Whiskey A Go Go, um, uh, the Roxy, uh, House of Blues. It's like one of those kind of spots, right? When it comes to building a fan base, right? When it comes to being an artist, I, I went to this party earlier today, and I was speaking to uh, this artist named Tien, and we were talking about how she did a performance, and she ended up getting about 300 people to sh show up to her show, and we were talking about how. The main reason these people showed up to her show was because she went out into the streets and networked and met every single one of these people and invited her to the show. Hold on. When you're an artist, first and foremost, the live show is the end product. The live show is what everything is all about. It's one thing to be in the studio. It's one thing to be writing. It's one thing to have your song playing on the radio. It's one thing to get your song on a playlist. It's a completely different situation to be performing live. 
that's the end result of everything that you're doing as a musician. You're doing it all to at some point have shows, tour the world, perform in front of your fans, get paid for your shows, sell merch, be a rock star, change lives, inspire those around you, and to be a, a great artist, you know, be the voice for the people who couldn't be the voice, right? So, with that being the case, if the end result is all about the performance, it's ultimately the, Im the impact that you can make on your target audience and your fan base. So if you have fans, the whole point is to build fans, right? These people are gonna support you. These people are gonna buy your tickets. They're gonna show up to your shows. There's a, Chris Brown right now is going viral because he uh, charged a thousand dollars to do a meet and greet and to take pictures with his fans. And some people are like outraged by it or like upset about it. But it's, that's what you're supposed to be doing. You've monetized yourself as the brand. Oh, look, we have BMA, BMI right now. Shout out to BMI. Shout out to BMI You're right here. You've monetized yourself as an artist, right? You're the product, you're the business. People should pay to see. It's no different from a consultation. It's no different from uh, booking a celebrity and having them show up for somebody's birthday party or something like that. These people are brands. They're this product placement. It's like having Beats by Dre's in a music video or like a vitamin water or something. Like they're, you, you have to pay for these things to, to be a part of your, in your network, right? You're paying, you're paying for them to be in your presence or in, to participate and have them involved in what you're doing. You know, it's like booking a feature, like a feature as an artist would do or something like that, right? There's nothing wrong with that. I actually recommend that you, when you get to a certain point in your career, if that's something that you offer your fans, exclusive performances, exclusive, uh, like birthday events, whatever, that's a good way to generate income. As an artist, people overlook that, but you are the talent. The whole thing is about booking the shows. All right, so moving on. I just talked to the security over here. It's a, it's a little lookout I'm about to check out. I might finish this video over here. It looks kind of cool. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Look, guys, the whole point of doing this is to end up performing live, right? You want to be a rock star. You want to crowd surf. You want to be able to do shows. You want to be able to tour the world, meet your fans, do meet and greets, all of these things. To, but when you do that, you're building a relationship with each one of these people. Unless they meet you in person, the only way that you have a relationship with them is through your music and through your brand and through your product. This is their chance to meet you in person, even if they don't know who you are. When you meet them in person, it allows you to build that genuine relationship, take pictures, ask questions, get them to tag you, get them to show up to your show. You can get their phone number, get them to follow your Instagram. You can, you can do all of these things because you're talking to them. It's completely different than doing something online. It's like trolls. Look how people act online because they, can, they know that nothing can happen to them. It's completely different when you're in person with a troll. So this is the same with a fan. When you're with your fans, whether they know you or not, it's all about building a genuine relationship, a genuine connection, allowing them to see who you are as a person. Because again, you are the product. You are the business. You are the brand. You are representing yourself. If they have a negative experience with you, then they're not going to support your product. But if they have a positive experience with you, then they're going to support the product. They're going to continuously support the product. And not only will they do that, they'll actually tell other people to support the product. And marketing, when it comes to marketing, word of mouth is the best form of marketing. You want people telling people about you. This is why you want people sharing your music. This is why you they always say likes up, hit the like button, leave comments, because all of these things increase the engagement so that more people see your music organically and you don't have to run ads or do anything and you can eventually start to really build a fan base, guys. This is really what it's all about. So today was just a great day. I went to the pool party, I networked, I met 10, I met uh, Ryzon, uh, a few other people, and then I got to come see Mike perform at the Viper Room, and I met his new management. Mike has management. Speaking of, this is my first news of this. I didn't know that he had people interested in representing him, but now he's got management. So this just goes to show 
you know, Mike, when he first came to work with me, he had never recorded in the studio before. He had never recorded a song. And tonight he performed at the Viper Room and introduced me to people who are interested in managing him, who believe in him, and who are gonna and believe in me. They like my production and they like what he's doing, they like what we're doing, and they're trying to help build that, get him more shows, get him more exposure, get him more uh, accustomed to performing and get his 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 brand and his uh his team built. So not only does he now have a multi-platinum producer, he now has a management team. He has people that he's doing features with, and now he's doing shows. I've been working with Mike for two years. He never recorded before, and now you see what he's doing with a live band. He's got girls running up to him, following him on Instagram, taking pictures, doing all of this stuff. He's We're working on his merch right now, and we're going to continue to build his brand the same way you should be building yours. So if you need help with that, you can always book a consultation. Uh, there's links below in the bio. Make sure you hit the like button. If it's your first time here, you never watched the channel before, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, watch some of the other videos to get a feel for what it's like and what I do here, which is not only make music myself and make production, but help artists launch their career from a passion for making music into a business that they can build and scale into the life that they want for themselves. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit Hollywood. I'll splice up some videos and show you guys how this day went from the pool party all the way up into tonight being in Hollywood. And if I go do something else, I'll record that too. But until then, I'll see you guys soon. Keep making great music. Peace out. It's your boy Relevant, multi-platinum music producer, and we out here. Let's get it.